with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. And they'll begin by running the option. The quick feet by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Jackson options out left. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner. Really nice play. we hit the midway point of this first quarter. A handoff running left is Dobbins. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. On third down, Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here's Jordan Stout now. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And they got across the 50 last time but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team because now your defense has to make that stand up. Coming up on second and seven. Looking to throw. Rich, this one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of the formation, let him sneak his way across, coming back underneath, put it in his hands, let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. On first and 10. 
Rich again to the big tight end George Kittle. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot him at the 44. Four yards to pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Back to throw. Rich. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Off play action, Rich. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Looking to throw. Rich connects with Kittle underneath. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it brings up third and five now. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 15-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Push him back. Push him back. 
Now a give to the big fullback, Juszczyk. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Kyle Juszczyk, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the 49ers are on the board first here this afternoon. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy. Uh, the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. This one out and the drive will start at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Jackson. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Jackson now. He's got his man. It's Andrews. Jackson fighting his tight end Andrews for the Ravens first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Now it's Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing. And they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now it's Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Come on. 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Jackson options out left. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On second down, a run with Dobbins. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. To throw is Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? the quarterback keep it here on first and ten and good work there in open space and he's got this all the way down now to the 32 nice pickup 10 yards and a first down on the keeper well partner for a few years there we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL it seemed like everyone was using it but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit but when you call it at the right time and you use it properly you see the type of gains you can get a nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback from the 32 now here's first and 10 Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners 24. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So Jackson will head to the Ravens sideline and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them, that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, 
You're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Trying to get to the outside. This is McCaffrey. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him by passing downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake, Rich. And the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Ravens. They find some open field here. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense, which you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there, someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Jackson to throw. And yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. 
And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it this time. Doesn't work out. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Now that's just simply good coaching and excellent technique on that play. You know why? Because wow. everyone wants to rush the passer when they want to throw the football, but you're not always going to get there. So what are you taught to do? When the ball's finally thrown, get your hands up in the passing lanes, and they batted that one away. No, 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 no. They go play action here on first down. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. From the gun on third down, Rich buying time to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Throwing on first down, Rich. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Hey. To throw on second down, Rich. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pickup of 17 yards. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that for both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Back to throw. Rich. Escaping the pressure right. That's caught downfield by Kittle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Looking to throw. Rich. And the screen unsuccessfully dropped it. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. 
Rich. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Back to throw again. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. The kick by Golden is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half with this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Jackson on first down. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Jackson. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jackson. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now a second down and six. And Jackson throwing once more. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing is Jackson. Forced out to his left. 
And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now, now is a punter, Jordan Stout. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando and the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. out in front and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half and no fireworks to start the half this will be a touchback here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter but Charles for them pretty good first half on the ground they had some success running the ball in quarters one and two and they've got the lead now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter yeah believe it or not you and I have noticed that this great game of football and trying to get it to Samuel but it's intercepted picked up by Brandon Stevens and the Ravens are going to take possession of the football not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. First and 10 right at the 20. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Now Dobbins again on second down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On third and short, they'll try option left. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, you know, if you've got the defense laying back, maybe that option works. But if you're coming hard on third down, it doesn't work because you force the hand of the quarterback and the runner too quickly, and most of the time, unsuccessfully. So Jackson will head to the Ravens sideline and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four.
So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Operating from the gun. Rich, that's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk, touchdown 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, 69 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now gold for the extra point. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17 to 6. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Back to throw. Jackson. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. So it's a gain of 12 there on the reception. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now flags come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. 
from the gun, Jackson. He'll dump this off complete to Dobbins. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Out on the field now. Here come the 49ers. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and play some ball so they can snap it and get back to work. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw. Rich. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Throwing again on second and 10. Rich, pass incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle, it's tight end. And now it's third down. Well, that's a defense coordinator's gotta be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Rich. That's caught out right by Jennings. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it, and they pick up another first down there. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Well, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. zone now they'll look to throw they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey and he is going to lose yardage here so it goes as a completed pass but they lose a full five yards if you're a selfish player 
and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, that's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Operating from the gun, Rich. And he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Ravens. So potentially a turning point here in the third quarter as that swings the door back open just a bit. Yeah, they're still down two scores, but I do think we're at that point in the game where you're going to reach for the football whenever possible. You're going to hear the coaches scream from the sidelines, tackle him, second guy in, tackle the ball. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. From the 40 now on second down, Jackson. And now the ball's out, fumble near midfield. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Here's Jackson. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This from 54 yards away. Tucker's kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Oh, Brandon, but what, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice.
Packer now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. First down, Rich. This one caught by Kittle. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Looking to throw, Rich, and he finds Tyler Croft. And he's gonna get this down near the 25. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second and two. Back to throw. Rich. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Looking to throw. Rich. Throw right side. He's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that will bring up third and one. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to grade the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. An effective seven yard third down conversion. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Ready, go. 
Back to throw. 